Ladies and gentlemen, here comes another yummy series. Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in to watch today's video. Today's recipe is this beautiful vegetable stew. It is absolutely amazing, guys. Please don't forget to like this video. Share to your friends and families and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you and let's start cooking. For this recipe, I will be using fish. The fish is nicely washed. And to season the fish, I will be using some seasoning powder, onion powder, garlic powder, curry powder, fish seasoning, thyme, paprika powder, and salt. I will go ahead and combine everything together. After combining, I will set it aside for about an hour or more. Next, I will be frying the fish. And here I've got some vegetable oil on a medium heat. Once that heats up, I will be adding some onion, garlic and scotch bonnet pepper. I will gently drop the fish in the oil and allow it to fry until golden brown. Once that is done, I will be setting it aside and continue with the rest of the fish. Here are the peppers for this recipe. As you can see, there is no tomato here. I am only making use of peppers. And I've got some bell pepper, paprika, chili peppers, scotch bonnet pepper, onion, and garlic. I'm going to use my food processor to roughly blend them. blending this is the perfect texture for me and i'm going to set it aside to fry the stew i have gone ahead to transfer some of the oil i use for frying the fish once that heats up i will go in with some chopped onion fry for three minutes then i will go in with the blended pepper Adding in the blended pepper, I will be going in with some seasoning cubes, curry powder, and salt. Stay to combine and allow it to fry. For the vegetable, I will be using spinach. Feel free to use any vegetable of your choice. You can use kale leaf or ugu leaf. I am using two pack of baby spinach. I will go ahead and chop it up a bit and blanch it with hot water just to get rid of excess water in the spinach. At this stage, the pepper mix is well fried and I will go ahead and scoop out the excess oil. Okay guys, I purposely added much oil to enable me fry the pepper mix very well. It helps your stew to last longer. You can use this oil for your beans porridge, okra stew, a goosey stew and many more. So after scooping out the oil, I'll go ahead and add in the fish, 
so that it will absorb all the goodness in that stew. At this time, I will add some cooked prawn. Honestly, adding cooked prawn in this stew will definitely take your stew to another level. But feel free to skip it if you don't like it. Once it is thoroughly combined, I will be going in with spinach. Mix to combine and simmer for 2 minutes. And after 2 minutes, our spinach stew is ready. Look at that goodness, guys. You can pair it with white rice or white boiled yam. This recipe was super amazing. It tasted super good, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe share our videos to your friends and families thank you and always be positive and see you in our next video bye guys <laughs>